notation. This is how we're going to find the sum. So when you guys see this, what this represents, represents is the sum. This represents our end. And this represents, oh, that's an I. This represents where we're going to start. All right? And this is what we call the rule. So to evaluate the sum, what we're simply going to do is start at whatever I is. And then you're going to end at your value here. So for this case, I have 3 times 2 minus 1. Plus 3 times 3 minus 1. You guys see how I just plug it in? So I start at whatever this value is, and I plug them in as many times as I need to to get to my n. This sigma notation represents I'm going to add each one of those. So in reality, what I have here, 6 minus 1 is 5, plus 8. So the sum of this is going to be 13. So what you're trying to find when you see the sigma notation, again, start, end, rule. Plug in from the start every single term until you get to the end. I obviously did a very easy one. And then you find the sum. So this would be your final answer. All right? On your guys' homeworks, you guys have to do those as well as try to find the rule. We didn't have